from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. A big step forward today in improving fire safety in the Broad Ripple area. City leaders broke ground this morning on a new Indianapolis Fire Station 32 at 6355 North College Avenue. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett called this long overdue. This station will replace the station on Guilford Avenue that has served the city for more than 100 years. The new station will have the space to accommodate today's firefighting equipment. The mayor said it will also improve response times. Leaders say the old station 32 will be repurposed with community input. The fire chief expects a ribbon cutting on the new station in about a year. The city of Greenwood is embracing one of the fastest growing recreational sports, pickleball. This morning, community members gathered to celebrate the grand opening of the new 16 court pickleball complex at Freedom Park. The $1.3 million addition is the largest pickleball facility in Johnson County. It will host national tournaments and regular everyday matches for residents. One of my goals as mayor has been improving the health of our community. Whether it's trails, the parks, the, the pickleball courts, the aquatic center, we want to get people out, we want to get them active, we want to get them healthy. We want to give them all those things that they need right here at their disposal so they don't have to go anywhere else to do that and they can enjoy it all right here in their own backyard. The mayor says they already have some national tournaments scheduled. With today's opening, there are now 31 pickleball courts in Greenwood. All right, temperatures here this afternoon will be topping off right around 90 degrees as we kind of crank up the heat a little bit. Humidity is up a little bit as well, uh, but skies will be mostly sunny at least through the daytime hours. However, once we get into the evening hours and it's mainly after sunset, we'll start to bring in the chance of some showers and uh, thunderstorms. And as these storms come in, they will be weakening. That is the good news, but one or two of them, especially in northern locations, could be borderline strong to severe as they first make their way into the state and then they should be gone by time we get to tomorrow morning's commute. Marginal risk for severe weather from Lafayette to the north. A marginal risk here in Indy again showing those storms will be weakening. If you do get, a, do get a warning, it will be for some gusty winds. Tomorrow again, morning clouds, maybe a lingering shower, and then plenty of sunshine and highs in the mid 80s.